And then start down on our backs, soles of our feet together, knees out wide. Starting to connect with the breath. Breathing in to a four count. Holding to a four count. And exhaling to a four count. And as you breathe, breathe in through the belly, up through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to the tops of your throats. And then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats, down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to your bellies as though you're wringing water from a washcloth, bringing navel into spine. Again, perhaps place your right hands on your bellies and your left hands on your hearts. Attract the breath as it moves through your bodies. And let's begin. Inhale. Two, three, four, hold. Two, three, four, and exhale. Two, three, four. Again, inhale. Two, three, four, hold. Two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. One more time, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, Now allow your breathing to come naturally to its own rhythm. Allow the warmth of your breath to go to any area of your body that is tense or sore and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm, knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental or spiritual, and it could be for you or for someone you love. Feel that intention with one deep inhale. And one deep exhale. Good job. Inhale, those knees and arms to center. Exhale, knees to the left, arms to the right. Look over your right shoulder and breathe. Again, breathing in to this simple twist, opening up those right obliques as you do. Inhale, back to center. 
Exhale down to the right. Arms are down to the left as you do. Again, opening up those left obliques, breathing in and out. Inhale those knees and arms to center. Wrap your arms around your knees. Grab opposite elbows. Rock back and forth. Massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Good job. And then grab your insteps. Drag your knees down towards your shoulder blades. Push up with your feet. Pull down with your hands. In happy baby. Again, maybe rocking back and forth. Massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. Come back to center in happy baby. Place your index finger and thumb around your big toe for your right toe. Inhale first, exhale. Extend your leg, drag that right shoulder back and down. Again, half dragon fly. Breathing in and out, dragging those shoulders back and down. Inhale that right knee to center. Grab on to your left toe with your index finger and thumb. Exhale as you extend that leg, drag your shoulder back and down. Again, in half dragonfly. Inhale, both knees to center. Exhale as you extend both legs. Again, drag those shoulders back and down as much as you can. In dragonfly. Inhale, those knees to center. Exhale as you extend above you, flex your feet. Arms come up overhead. Allow your legs to come down to a 45 degree angle as you inhale. Exhale as you draw your knees in. Keep your feet flexed. Inhale out. Exhale in. Slowly and with purpose. Inhale out. Exhale in. Two more or seven more, wherever you are. Inhale out. Exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale in. You can stop here or follow us. Inhale out. Exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale in. Two more. Inhale out. Exhale in. Inhale out. And exhale in. Good job. Draw your knees in, rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Exhale your legs down below you. Roll over onto the left side, left elbow, left palm of your hand down. Inhale, that right knee in, grab your instep. Exhale, extend above you. Again, dragging your shoulder back and down. Breathing in and out in infinity pose. Again, if this is in your practice, grab onto your calf and draw your leg even closer. Wherever you are is perfect. Inhale that right knee in. 
exhale as you extend below you. Roll over onto the right side. Right elbow, right palm of your hand down. Inhale that left knee in, grab your instep. Exhale, extend above you. Drag that left shoulder back and down. Again, possibly grabbing onto that calf, drawing it closer to you. Breathing in and out in infinity pose. Inhale that left knee in. Exhale, extend below you. Draw your knees in. Place your hands behind your thighs. Spinal rolls from shoulder to tailbone and back again, allowing each vertebrae to come back into alignment. We'll do three or four of these. And arrive at the tops of our mats in Sukhasana, simple seated pose, crisscross applesauce. Good job. And then from here, extend your legs in front of you, flex your feet. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale as you open up to the right, east and west. Drag that left elbow on the outside of your right knee. Look up towards your right hand. Maybe make mudras with both sets of fingers. Breathing in and out, opening up those right obliques as you open your hearts to the side wall through the breath. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you open up to the left. Again, drag that right elbow down on the outside of your left knee. Look up towards the ceiling, opening your hearts to the side wall through the breath. Inhale back to center. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 reach. Place your hands on either side of your calves. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale down. Chin to shin in Dandasana. Staff pose. Inhale as you walk your hands back again. Exhale as you bend that left knee, dragging your left heel in. Flex your right foot. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale, pull forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 chin to shin, and then just curl in. Inhale, as you walk your hands back again. Exhale, as you draw that knee in, place your left shoulder so that it's at the same height as your knee. Reach back with your left hand. Reach back with your right hand. Again, this can be done with a strap. Open up to the right as much as you can. Heart opener. Again, breathing in and out. Inhale back to center. <clears throat> Place that left foot on the opposite side of your right knee. Inhale your right arm up. Exhale as you bend your elbow, placing it on the outside of your left knee. Open up to the back of the room. Draw your shoulders back and down in this twist. <clears throat> Releasing toxins, massaging our internal organs. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you extend that left leg, shake it out. Inhale first. Exhale as you bend your right knee, dragging your right heel in. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale, pull forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 reach. all the way down, chin to shin. 
half dandasana inhale as you walk your hands back again exhale as you draw that right knee in place your right shoulder so that it's the same height as your right knee reach back with your right arm reach back with your left arm keep that foot flexed and then possibly drag those shoulders back and down opening your heart to the side wall through the breath again this can be done with a strap smile it's wednesday inhale back to center cross that right foot over your left knee inhale that left arm up exhale as you bend your elbow placing it on the right side of your knee open up to the back of the room twisting releasing toxins drag those shoulders back and down <clears throat> inhale back to center exhale as you extend your leg and shake it out good job cross your feet place your hands on the mat and roll up into table in table our shoulders are above our wrists our hips are above our knees and if we look between our legs we shouldn't see our feet Inhale first to cow. Drag your spines down. Look up towards the ceiling. Exhale to cat. Drag your spines up, gazing at your navel. Inhale to cow. Again, drag those spines down. Look up towards the ceiling. Exhale. Cat. One more time. Inhale. To cow. And exhale. To cat. Again, opening up those spines. <clears throat> Come back <clears throat> to a flat back. Inhale as you extend your right arm, left leg goes back. We're in sunbird. <clears throat> Thumb is up. Again, foot is flexed. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale out. <clears throat> Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale out. Wrap that right arm around. Bend your knee, grab your ankle, and pull up into modified dancer, modified bow pose. And smile. Exhale down. Inhale, that left arm straight out, thumb is up, right leg goes back, flex your foot. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale out to sunburst. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale out, wrap that left arm around, bend your right knee, grab your ankle, and pull up into modified dancer, modified bow pose. Exhale down, good job. <clears throat> Curl your toes under, sit back on your heels. And again, make infinity symbols with your wrists. If this is in your practice, breathing in and out. You can also be balancing on your toes. You can also draw those arms up overhead. 
shoulders back and down. Pelvis comes in. Maybe draw those arms behind you. Fingertips touch, pushing your fingertips up towards the crowns of your heads, interlacing your thumbs, <clears throat> opening up your fingers, opening up your wrists and your shoulders as well as your toes. Again, this is so important for our practice. Breathing in and out. Good job. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Rock forward on your elbows. And then draw your hands together, interlace your fingers, or plant the palms of your hands on the mat. Wherever you are is perfect. Walk your feet back, curl your toes under. You should be <clears throat> almost in table. Exhale as you draw your hearts back towards your thighs as much as possible in dolphin. And either interlacing your fingers or placing the palms of your hands on the mat, wherever you are is perfect. Walking dolphin, lifting first one heel and then the other, dragging the other one down towards the mat. Walk your feet back to dolphin plank. Again, flatten out your backs as you do, and then roll over onto the right elbow. Again, in dolphin side plank, maybe draw that left hand overhead, maybe lift your left leg. Roll over onto your elbows in dolphin plank once again, and then roll over onto the left side. Right arm comes up or overhead. Maybe lift your right leg. Don't have enough room here. <laughs> then roll back over onto your elbows. Exhale back to dolphin. Walk your feet forward, breathing in and out. Place the palms of your hands on the mat. Inhale first, exhale back to down dog. Walking the dog again, lifting first one heel and then the other. Dragging the other heel down towards the mat. Good job. Come up on your tippy toes, bend your knees, look towards the front of the mat in bear pose. Step or jump up. Inhale, halfway up, the Ardha Tadasana. Flat back, shoulders back and down. Exhale down to Uttanasana. Good job. Slightly bend your knees. Inhale all the way up, swan dive backwards. Hands come together. Slight back bend. And hands come to Anjali Mudra bowing our heads in honor of our practices. Good job. Now we're going to do this three times. Surya Namaskar A, Sun Salutation A. You can do this either closing your eyes and doing this on your own or follow me. Wherever you are is perfect. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, swan dive down. 
Inhale, halfway up. Step or jump back. Go through your vinyasa. Or meet us in down dog. Come up on your tippy toes, bend your knees, look towards the front of the mat, step or jump up. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale down. Knees slightly bent. Inhale all the way up, swim back backwards. And then exhale down. Inhale, halfway up. Step or jump back. Go through your vinyasa. Or meet us in down dog. Bend your knees, look towards the front of the mat. Step or jump up. Inhale, halfway up to Arda. Exhale, down to Uttanasana. Inhale, all the way up. Swan back backwards, hands come together. Exhale, down. Last time. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step or jump back. Go through your vinyasa or meet us in down dog. Good job. Again, last time, close it out. Bend your knees, look towards the front of the mat. Step or jump up. Inhale, halfway up. Look towards the front of the room. Exhale down to Uttanasana. Knees slightly bent. Inhale all the way up. Swan dive backwards. Hands come together. This time, slight back bend. And hands come to Anjali Mudra. Bowing our heads in honor of our practices. Good job. And now, we're going to do a little bit of balance, starting in Tadasana, Mountain Pose. All four corners of your feet are growing in to the earth. Lift your toes, calf muscles moving inward, thighs are moving inward, pelvis down the back, abdomen is in, our shoulders are back and down. And the crowns of our heads are moving towards the heavens. Hands are open to receive. One of the great things about yoga is that it improves your posture. It improves obviously so many different things, but it's always wonderful to see someone who practices yoga because they're standing tall, standing firm, and they're balanced. And that's one thing that I feel so grateful for in my yoga practice is feeling balanced in life. Again, Tadasana is a position that you should feel as though you could hold for two days and never get tired. So if you feel that there's a place in your body that is off, just make an adjustment. Draw your hands to Anjali Mudra. Come up on that right tippy toe. Draw your right heel to your left ankle, to your left calf, or to your left thigh. Vrikshasana A, B, or C. Tree pose. Inhale those arms up overhead into Talasana or palm tree. Again, dragging that right knee back towards the back wall as much as possible. Utita, hands come together and exhale down. Good job. Draw that knee into a marching position. Flex your foot. 
Inhale those arms up overhead into stork. Draw your hands into the Utita. Hands come together and exhale as you extend that leg in front of you if this is in your practice. Bend your knee. Exhale those hands down into the marching position. Inhale once again. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And exhale down. Good job. Shake it out. Let's do the other side. Starting in Tadasana again, feel that mountain within you. Feel all four corners of your feet growing into the mat. Lift your toes. Draw your hands to Anjali Mudra. Come up on that left tippy toe. Draw your left heel to your right ankle, to your right calf, or to your right thigh. Rikshasana A, B, or C. Inhale those arms up overhead into Talasana or palm tree. Pinky fingers in. Utita, hands come together. As we inhale and then exhale those hands down. Draw your knee to a marching position, flex your foot. Inhale those arms up overhead into stork. Utita, hands come together. Inhale first. Exhale as you extend that leg in front of you if this is in your practice. Bend your knee. Coming back. Exhale those hands down. Inhale, hold it, hold it, hold it. And exhale down. Shake it out. Good job. And from here, inhale those arms all the way up. Grab your left wrist with your right hand. And exhale over to the right. Standing crescent, maybe point that left toe, moving even farther in to the bend, opening up those left obliques. Inhale back to center. Grab your right wrist with your left hand. Exhale over to the left. Maybe point that right toe. Breathing in and out. Inhale back to center. Exhale those arms behind you. Take Venus Mudra, shoulders back and down as you inhale. Exhale, humbly bow yourselves. As far as you can, allowing those wrists to fall towards the center of the room with gravity. Again, <clears throat> breathing in and out. Draw your wrist back towards your waist before you release. Inhale halfway up to Arda. Look towards the front of the room. Exhale down to Uttanasana. Inhale all the way up, swan dive backwards, hands come together. Slight back bend. And hands come to Anjali Mudra, bowing our heads in honor of our practices. Good job. Coming up to the tops of our mats, 
Inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale, swan eye down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, down once again, placing the palms of our hands on the mat if this is in your practice. Uttanasana. Maybe wrap your arms around your knees and grab opposite elbows, drawing yourselves in, in standing Dandasana. Maybe take Venus Mudra and exhale down, dragging that left cheek down towards the mat as much as possible in Resting Pigeon. Again, you can be here. Drag your wrist back towards your waist before you release. Keep your shoulders safe. You can be on your elbows. You can be on that right cheek. Wherever you are is perfect. Breathing in and out. In resting pigeon. take a bind in the Mariandrasana twist. Dragging your shoulders back and down as you do. Breathing in and out. Releasing toxins. Massaging our internal organs. But you have to remember to breathe as you do. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you extend your legs and shake them out. Coming up to the tops of your mats in Malasana Yogi Squat, placing the backs of your biceps just below your knees. All four corners of your feet are growing into the mat. Flatten out your backs. Pelvis is moving inward. Crowns of our heads are moving up towards the heavens. Possibly place the palms of your hands on the mat. Find that sweet spot by rocking back and forth on your tippy toes. 
and then rock forward into Bakasana Crow Pose 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Coming back to Malasana. <clears throat> Again, in Bakasana, we build core strength, arm strength, bone density. In Malasana, we're inhaling from our root chakra all the way up to our crown chakra and exhaling down again. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Place your hands on the mat. Inhale halfway up to Arda. Take a giant step back with that right foot. Walk your left foot all the way across. Left knee down, right knee down, right top of foot down. Inhale as you walk your hands back to Royal Pigeon. Maybe take Venus Mudra. And exhale down. This time, your right cheek comes down to the mat. Again, in Resting Pigeon. Opening up that left thigh, releasing any unwanted emotion that you may be storing there. Again, always draw your wrist back towards your waist before you release. Keep your shoulders safe. You can be here, you can be on your elbows, you can be on your right cheek, and again, you can also or on your left cheek, you know, you can also be on your backs if that is in your practice. Wherever you are, opening up that left hip, releasing any unwanted emotion that you may be storing. Breathing in and out. In resting pigeon. Inhale, as you walk your hands back, don't come off on that left hip yet. Bend your right knee, place your right elbow around that right ankle and open up to swan. Again, you can stay here. You can take a bind if this is in your practice in mermaid. Opening up your hearts to the front of the room looking up towards your third eye, wherever you are is perfect. Exhale as you release, coming off on that left hip. Swing your right leg all the way around. Right foot is parallel to your left thigh. Bring that left foot in and that left elbow in. Inhale, that right arm up and around. Find your left hip crease. Possibly take a bind. Again, in the Mariandrasana twist, releasing toxins, massaging our internal organs. Inhale back to center. Extend your legs and shake them out. Bend your knees. Arms are out on either side of your knees. Inhale, both legs up into boat pose. Exhale, extend your legs. Draw those knees in, grab onto your toes. Inhale first. Exhale, drag those shoulders back and down, extend your legs. Looking up towards your third eye once again. 
and smile. Bend your knees. Arms are out on either side of your knees. Inhale first. Exhale inch by inch, vertebrae by vertebrae down to the mat. And when you get there, draw those knees in for a much deserved hug, rock back and forth. Place the soles of your feet just below your sit bone. Inhale as you push your hips up, placing your block underneath your sacrum on the highest second or third levels, wherever you are is perfect. Maybe walk those feet out in a T formation or a mushroom formation. Again, opening up your lower backs as much as possible, breathing in and out. Draw those arms overhead. Walk your feet back. Inhale as you push your hips up, release the block, and exhale down again. Draw those knees in for a hug. Rock back and forth. Good job. And then from here, we're going to either do legs straight up. I'm going to count this just a little bit. Or we're going to push our hips up into a shoulder stance. Again, walk your shoulders under as much as possible. Again, shoulder stand or leg straight up, allowing our circulation to go back down to our vital organs, back down to our brains. Possibly draw those toes overhead into halasana or plow pose. Maybe bend your knees, drawing them around your ears in ear pressure pose or snail pose. And then inch by inch, vertebrae by vertebrae coming down to the mat. Draw those knees in for a hug. Inhale first. Exhale as you cross that right leg over left. Wrap your feet, arms are up east and west. Inhale first. Exhale as those knees fall down to the left. Look over your right shoulder. Inhale back to center, unwrap, unwind, give yourselves a hug. And then cross that left leg over right, wrap your feet, arms are out east and west. Inhale first, exhale down to the right. Look over that left shoulder and breathe. Again, breathing into this twist, releasing toxins, massaging our internal organs. Inhale back to center, unwrap, unwind, give yourselves a hug. Inhale through your noses, side out, inhale. <sighs> One more time, inhale. And with that intention, allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso, palms are up to receive, down to ground, starting to relax. Relax your toes, relax your feet, relax your ankles. Relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs. 
relax your hips, relax your fingers, relax your hands, relax your torsos, relax your wrists, relax your forearms, relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders, relax your necks, relax your jaws, relax your cheeks, Relax your foreheads, relax the crowns of your heads, just relax. Start to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead, extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. Then exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug, rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. Slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position facing the front of the room. Legs are crossed, hands are in Anjali Mudra, heads are bowed in honor of your practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Wednesday. Have a wonderful rest of the day and I will see you tomorrow and I'll be seeing you at the library as well if you'd like to join us. Namaste. Thank you all. I'm glad you were here. It's great to see all of you. Hi, Janine. It's good to see you too. Goodness gracious. And um, I hope everybody's doing well. Again, I will